first um, review I'll be doing is um, on the skincare range um, from Philosophy. And Philosophy is the line range and one of the things that I've been using is called their Hope in the Jar Moisturiser. Um, and this has been fantastic. Um, I've really enjoyed using it. Um, it basically, th this is the 15 mil one and that's what it looks like inside. I've, I've used quite a lot as you can see. Um, and it's just very light um, and you just apply it every day to your face. Um, and Philosophy is a brand um, founded by um, a lady named Christina um, Carlisso, I think her name is. Um, and she basically used to supply, um, she was a, a biomedic and she used to supply skincare range to I guess the world's leading plastic surgeons and you know people who had um, very um, I guess med huge medical issues with their skin um, and then later on she basically um, started distributing to the retail industry so um, this has been fantastic really enjoyed it the smell um, it's absolutely terrible it does not smell good at all kind of smells like plastic toys or I don't know something plastic um, so it doesn't smell great so if you don't like scented stuff I don't recommend this um, it has it's got a very distinguished smell so um, but it is absolutely beautiful it's it really um, comes on light it's really sort of um, healed my skin a little bit um, especially when I get breakouts and things like that so that's the hope in the jar and by the way, this is um, apparently Oprah's favourite moisturiser and she's been using it for years, so um, she recommends this as well, so that's Hope in a Jar. With the Hope in the Jar, um, the other thing that I have been really liking is the Philosophy's um, facial exfoliating uh, face wash, and um, it's again from the brand Philosophy, and um, it's been really uh, gentle on my skin. It is a exfoliator with very 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 tiny little beads um, you can barely sort of feel them on your skin because when you sort of moisturize it with water um, it's just settles in so beautifully into your skin so it's a cleansing wash you can use it daily um, and I've really noticed quite a lot of difference in my skin particularly in my t-zone area where I tend to get quite a lot of um, little sort of acne at times um, so this has been really great so uh, if you're looking for a, a good exfoliator I recommend um, the micro delivery uh, facial wash from Philosophy um, and you can get that from David Jones uh, I'm not sure if Maya stocks it but um, Mecca Cosmetica um, they stock all the Philosophy um, brand and it's not it wasn't cheap it was $40 so um, you know but it, I think if you invest in good skincare um, you know you'll definitely see results. The next product that um, I'm reviewing is the Agadir Argan Oil and this is the famous Moroccan oil um, that everyone sort of raves about on the internet, YouTube, um, you know, all the sort of places where you can read reviews. Um, this is um, a spray treatment so basically it comes in a pump and when you wash your hair um, you can sort of semi dry it or towel dry it and then just spritz it so I'll just show you, I don't know if you can see but I've just sort of washed my hair so I'm just sort of spritzing it, whoops got some in my eye um, <laughs> Um, so just, um, just spray it into your hair and um, leave it and sort of moist, uh, massage it in um, and yeah this is basically humidity resistant um, it's got protective sunscreen in it um, it's very lightweight and it smells absolutely beautiful um, and Moroccan oil is apparently the most in thing at the moment where everyone's sort of using it in their hair. It's not oily at all, so it's not you're not actually applying oil to your hair. It's more like a treatment serum. So um, basically you get this, I think, from Petra Hair Care. It does come also in a, um, uh, I guess, a, a little sachets or tubes where you actually sort of pump it and sort of um, moisturise the oil into your hands. I prefer the spray because it's just quicker and it's, it's quite easy. So that is the Agadir. Okay, so um, you probably all know how much I love my MAC lipsticks, so I've just chosen four that I can show you that I've been using a lot um, in May. Um, the first one is called Yash, and um, I label all my lipsticks because it's just easier to see because otherwise I've got to pick every single one of them. So that one's called uh, Yash. It's a um, matte, basically this is from the Mickey Contractor range. Now Mickey Contractor is a famous Bollywood um, 
makeup artist and he's actually designed these lipsticks particularly for Indian skin tones or anyone sort of who's a similar skin tone to me but um, basically this is the perfect nude so if you are looking for one this is the perfect nude that um, you can wear with a very heavy smoky eye or even just everyday wear so here is the swatch it looks much darker on um, the, the hand but when you actually put it on your lips it's quite like a nudie without making you look corpse like or, or dead like you know so this is really great the only thing about this is you can't get it in Australia I don't know why Mac don't stock you know the range of lipsticks that the US do but if you can get it in any other country that would be great because it will be cheaper as well so um, yeah this one's called Yash or Yash one um, that I have is the famous Re Re Woo. Now, this is Rihanna's signature lipstick, and I got this online last uh, month in Ma in May. Um, and basically, this is a lipstick that um, Rihanna has collaborated with Mac to design for her skin tone. And basically, I mean, if you have Ruby Woo, um, it's basically an inspired um, lipstick from Ruby Woo and they, they look very very similar um, however this Riri Woo is just slightly darker so I'll swatch that for you slightly darker retro matte which is um, it's very very drying so if you don't like dry lipsticks probably don't go for this but I have been loving this so that's Riri Woo and it's limited edition, so I think the MAC website still has these available. Um, and I believe that they were going to be launching again in June if they were sold out. So um, if you can get your hands on, this is the best. This is amazing lipstick and it really, really suits um, our skin tone or, you know, if you're, or any skin tone really, you know. So um, that's Riri Woo. The next one um, that I have is called embrace me um, this is from the fashion set so again it's limited edition but I had to get my hand on this because this is so beautiful um, I am wearing it now if you can see um, it's a hot pink color it's a little bit similar to Max permanent color girl about town um, however it's a matte finish and I think girl about Ta town is amplified um, so it's a sort of a bright pink color but it's uh, it's just the most beautiful, most versatile colour. So it's a little bit different than uh, Max Girl About Town. So um, that one is called Embrace Me. Next one that I have is again from the fashion set and it's called A Blaze. It's such a different colour. It's very, very bright. Um, it's really good for summer. Um, I'm wearing it during winter because sometimes, you know, it just looks nice if you brighten up your lip a little bit. Um, it's from the fashion sets, like I said, and that's the colour there. It's a beautiful apricot cream and it just looks wonderful um, on um, any sort of skin tone. Um, I really recommend that if you can get your hand on it. The last one that I'm um, reviewing is Gucci's uh, Guilty Perfume. I've been using this like almost every day. Um, and this is the bottle um, and it's a Aldel Toilet, so it's not a parfum, so it doesn't tend to last too much. On the skin however um, it's just I can't really describe the scent so it probably doesn't really help but it's basically very um, clean fresh smells like li like fresh linen um, if that makes sense um, and it just has a subtle um, floral scent to it so um, it's very uh, floral um, good for day wear night wear um, so yeah, that one's Gucci Guilty, so um, recommend that perfume if you like, um, I guess, spicy floral scents. Some um, my May favourites. I hope that um, you've enjoyed that little video and hopefully um, I'll give you some insight to some products. If you haven't subscribed yet, um, you can subscribe, just click the link below where it says subscribe. Uh, you need a Gmail account to subscribe to YouTube. Or to this channel. Um, I'm really enjoying uh, making these videos again so um, if you have any uh, requests or anything like that let me know. I'll try and do tutorials and uh, you know review product reviews so um, thanks for all your support and I'll see you soon. Bye!